Life with Archibaldo was fun at first. All chunky gold watches and private airplane rides. I read somewhere that it's dangerous to swim around phosphorescent fish because sharks are attracted by the light and this really stayed with me. Seems like my whole life I've been swimming around phosphorescent fish. I became paranoid of coconuts falling on my head. Reading poetry became my only reason for living. I hungered for noise and excitement. No. I became a spy. I spied on Innocencia. I envied her. I spied on myself. The gentle surf whispered day and night. The palm trees rustled. I started getting sick. I developed narcolepsy. It can be defined as an intrusion by dreaming sleep into the waking state. It happens to one in 2,000 people. No matter how much sleep I got, I had an irresistible urge to sleep. I would be in the middle of doing something and suddenly I'd wake up and not remember what I'd been doing. I became prone to accidents. Strange to see all that was once in place, floating so loosely in space, and its heart being dead and full of retrieval, before one gradually feels a little eternity. Though the living all make the error of drawing too sharp a distinction, angels, they say, would often not know whether they moved among living or dead. The eternal current sweeps all the ages within it, through both the spheres forever, and resounds above them in both. One day, I spied Elba leaving my house, and it all came crashing down for me. Are you telling me what I can and cannot do with my own staff? No, you are fired. Leave. With Innocencia gone, I was truly alone in the house. Archie was never home. I would lie out in the sun trying to soak in nature, but I was fading fast. I lost track of time. I lost track of everything. I felt like I was melting. <laughs> <laughs> 